Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to discuss what are the differences between basic and enhanced ports in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Uh, just so that you know that whenever Microsoft Dynamics AX communicate internally or externally, it uses either basic or enhanced ports. So the uh, basic ports, I have specified some points. Number one is specific to Windows Communication Foundation endpoints on AOS host. Uh, just to let you know, basic ports and, and enhanced ports both uses uh, WCF which is Windows Communication Foundation and basic ports uh, the integration mostly created by the developers when we talk about created by the developers we talk about uh, these ports can be created in um, is created basically in AOT environment once uh, developers uh, create these um, ports in AOT, the, it, these ports can automatically be deployed using AOT environment and also can be activated during deployment. If, if deployment gets successful, I'll show you real quick after um, we're talking about the differences um, where these ports can be seen whether they are activated or not activated. And next is enhanced ports. Um, they can be uh, hosted on IIS along with AOS. Uh, it provides more manipulation of how the port should should act. You have much more control when you create the enhanced ports that how it should act. Um, what it, when it goes to um, uh, queue, uh, what kind of adapter it should use. And um, those adapters are support from for more protocols than basic ports such as HTTP, HTTPS, and TCP IP and MSMQ. So uh, HTTP and Net TCP and M, um, Net MSMQ are the adapters, which I'll cover in my next video. What are the adapters? These adapters are used um, by these ports. So the operation and documents data policies can be defined when you create enhanced ports. You can, uh, as I said, you can have uh, you, uh, policies defined for operation of those ports, what they should receive, what they, where they should send, what port should be used for what purpose. So you can do a lot more enhanced ports than basic ports. It also offers a great deal of security and uh, you can do the troubleshooting using AOS environment and look at the settings and if those ports are not working troubleshooting is much more easier on enhanced ports. So the, this is just the basic difference between uh, high level difference between basic ports and enhanced ports um, and I'm going to quickly show you where we um, when we look at the ports uh, where we activate and deactivate. So here is my um, server where I have installed Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. So we're going to go in there and look at the ports. In system administration view, if you look at services and application integration framework, you click on inbound ports and um, you will see all the port names um, in, the, uh, in this view. Up here, if you notice here, these ports are always, uh, um, these these ports are right now are activated. You can deactivate it. Do you select the port and deactivate it? Uh, but uh, what I was talking about in basic basic ports, when deployment is successful, when it comes gets created in Microsoft Dynamics AX, uh, then it basically uh, activate itself. But whenever you create enhanced ports, you have to come up here and select that port and activate it. You can go ahead and uh, deactivate and activate any port that you want to using AOS. So these are the again um, basic differences between basic ports and enhanced port. I hope it helps.